a conversation took place between Prigozhin and the generals at the headquarters of the Southern Military District. To his right sits Lieutenant General Alexeev Vladimir Stepanovich, and to his left is Deputy Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, Evkarov, Yunus Bekbamakairevich. Helicopters are shooting at us. Were they shot down? They were shot down. The third one. We'll shoot them all down if you keep sending them. Because you're hitting civilians. You just destroyed a bus full of people. And you had no conscience at that moment. Boo, boo, boo. Who are you to address me informally? I didn't talk, I'm telling you not to generalize. Let's stick to the subject. Again. We came here and want to see the chief of the general staff and Shuigu. Take them away jokingly. While they're not here. We are blocking the city of Rostov and heading to Moscow. I asked you to withdraw your unit to their deployment areas. No, under no circumstances. The guys will stay here. Your presence disrupts the normal rhythm of life. We're not getting in the way of you managing the troops. Boo, boo, boo. The guys are dying because you're sending them as cannon fodder. Without ammunition, without thoughts and plans, just senile clowns. The thing that saddens me the most is that they're having a party with champagne over there. Where? In Kiev. It's not a big deal. In Kiev. They're celebrating with champagne while you're leaving Krasny Lyman, Izium, and everything else. That's when Kiev celebrates for weeks, and we're not running anywhere. That's why we're here to put an end to the shame of the country we live in. Boo, boo, boo. If we were having a normal conversation, we wouldn't have come here in tanks. Do you understand? We're saving Russia. We are at the headquarters. It's 7.30 in the morning. Military facilities in Rostov are under control, including the airfield. The planes that depart for combat missions leave as planned, there are no issues. Everything that is being done is under our control. To prevent the strike aircraft from hitting us, the main command headquarters, the main control center, are operating normally, there are no problems. So when you hear about the Wagner PMC interfering with our work and causing problems on the front, it's not true. The problems on the front are not because of that. When we came here, we confirmed many new things once again. A huge amount of territory has been lost, soldiers killed. Three to four times more than what is reported to the higher-ups. And what is reported is ten times less than. What is said on television? Sanitary losses per day reach up to a thousand people on some days. These are the killed, missing, wounded, and so-called deserters who refuse not because they are cowards, but because they have no way out. There is no ammunition, no command. The chief of the general staff ran away from here. As soon as he heard that we were approaching the building, Ramzan Kadyrov broke his silence and made a statement on his telegram channel. The special forces fighters of Ahmad are ready to suppress the rebellion of the founder of the Wagner PMC, Yevgeny Prigozhin. The rebellion must be crushed, and if necessary. We are ready to take strict measures, according to him. The fighters of the Russian Ministry of Defense and the National Guard have been deployed to the areas of tension in Chechnya. Furthermore, Kadyrov called the rebellion a challenge to the state. He urged all citizens of the country to unite. In Moscow, a control regime called KTO has been introduced. What does it mean? First, citizens may have their documents checked. And if they don't have them with them, they will be taken to the police for identification. People can be searched upon entering and exiting the KTO zone. Second, the movement of people and vehicles may be restricted within the KTO zone on any territory. Third, security services have the right to intercept phone calls and read any online correspondence. Fourth, authorities may use vehicles belonging to any organizations or individuals for providing first aid and pursuing criminals. Fifth, telephone communication and internet access can be disabled in the KTO zone. Sixth, special service personnel.
for counterterrorism operations can enter any premises without a court order. Seventh, the sale of alcohol may be restricted. In the future, you can expect the most interesting news related to the conflict of the Wagner PMC within Russia. Subscribe and share these videos. Altruism is a good thing until you're hungry. Subscribe to this channel right now. It's the only thing they ask of you.